I've created all these other videos and I just realized that I never created a video about stock and flow diagrams. I've created multiple videos about simulations, but not about specifically about the diagrams themselves. Now, a stock and flow diagram is a lot like a causal loop diagram in that a diagram is itself is just a qualitative view of a set of interactions. And though a stock and flow diagram adds an additional level of specificity above causal loop diagrams in that, that the rules for how you can connect things together in a stock and flow diagram, diagram is more explicit than in a causal loop diagram. In a causal loop diagram, you can you can ex sort of explain a lot of things with, with hand waving and smoke and mirrors and in a stock and flow diagram. You can't get away with that because the, you know, it says it's a stock and flow diagram, meaning that it uses an explicit notation for stocks, which are things that actually represent a quantity of something that that can't change other than by something that flows into it or something flowing out of it. So that, that you can't change a stock instantaneously. It it's something that changes over time. And it's the the diagram itself is the basis for developing a simulation, though the diagram and the simulation are actually different things, where the, the diagram is just a pictorial representation. A simulation means that, that every entity on this diagram, in fact, has constants, variables, equations associated with them so that it can, in fact, be simulated. So, as I said, a stock can only be changed by something flowing into it or something flowing out of it. And in the context of whatever model or diagram that you're developing, if the flow starts or ends in, in space, it simply means that in the context of, of this particular model or diagram, where it comes from or where it goes is simply not relevant. There are, in fact, times where when where stuff comes from and where it goes to is important so that you know in in this diagram inventory feeds into production which results in finished goods finished goods can't get created unless there's inventory there so that resources and productivity can result in production to produce the finished goods in terms of connecting other components you can use a variable to create an initial value for a stock that's a a value that it has at the time the simulation starts though after it starts if that variable if that variable should happen to change it has no effect on the stock itself because it's only used as an initial value the stock can only change based upon an inflow or an outflow variables can be used to to modify other variables stocks can be used to modify variables uh, flows can be used to modify variables and variables can be used variables and stocks can both be used to to modify flows and a converter is like a variable only rather than only it's a variable that is represented by a set of data points as opposed to a constant or a single or a formula in that you have to explicitly define the input and output values. A converter can, in fact, be based upon the, the time through the simulation, or it can be uh, based upon some other variable. In this particular instance, this converter is based upon this variable. But in, in the context of simply having a diagram, it, it doesn't much matter because there are no values associated with the components anyway. Then the other thing that I'll, it's appropriate to talk about here, though, is really more relevant when you get into doing actual simulations, is that, that variables, stocks, and converters can be ghosted. What that means is that you can s select an entity and click on ghost, and that creates essentially a copy of that element that you can then place any place on the diagram that you want and connect it the same way that you would connect any other 
any other valid connection in the model and if you and if you open it it is in fact the the same as the original now the the value of using ghosts is that you at times you can use them to uncomplicate the the wiring diagram in the model itself the disadvantage is that oftentimes by using ghosts you lose the ability to keep track of where the actual reinforcing and balancing loops are in the structure so use them to uncomplicate the diagram though be careful that in uncomplicating the diagram you don't lose the meaning that needs to be there in terms of of how it is in fact structured so this was just an in to try and provide you with a introduction to stock and flow diagrams and give you a sense of what the valid connections for them are if you're really interested in developing a simulation then you should in fact look at the elements of a model video along with the bathtub model part one two and three and savings account part one and two and the links to those particular modules will in fact be on the stock and flow diagram focus page where this video will end up shortly after I finish it. So I uh, hope you have found this helpful and informative and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.